Good morning, Brad, and everybody else watching this. Um, this is obviously a video response. Uh, at least it's morning for me. Um, you can tell, I'm sure, that I'm extremely tired. Anyway, I had a bit of an epiphany this morning. Um, just kind of thinking about the whole um, multiverse... Um, multi-dimensional sort of stuff that um, you talk about sometimes on the I guess you could say on the what the bleep do we know perspective of things and um, you know simultaneous existence and multi-dimensional reality and things like that and of course um, the main question that comes to mind for anybody within this, you know, current lovely paradigm of ours, is how in the heck could you simultaneously, consciously juggle the existence of multiple realities within the multiverse, within your multidimensional self, without going absolutely bananas and landing yourself, you know, in a in a room with uh, the men with white coats and, you know, for rubber walls around you. And I've noticed that um, it just kind of came to me that, well, wait a minute, it's yet another one of those inappropriate questions. Like asking, um, you know... What is the uh, the marital status of, of the number five, or the political orientations of a of a tuna fish sandwich? Well, you know the number five is neither single nor nor bad. You know, not a bachelor, not married, and you know a tuna fish sandwich has no political orientations, obviously. So it's the question that's inappropriate, and you need to do a paradigm shift in order to realize why the question is inappropriate. And um, the best way to explain it is um, the question would be like asking, um, let's see, for example, well, gee, how could you possibly eat food at all? Wouldn't you get fat and die? Or, um... How could you have sex with anyone at all, ever, regardless of circumstances? Wouldn't you contract AIDS and die? And, you know, you listen to those two questions, and you're thinking, well, those are absolutely ridiculous questions. And exactly right, because um, it's being asked from an ignorant point of view. A very ignorant point of view. So, basically, and hopefully I don't exceed ten minutes on this, because I really don't feel like going into Caden live and editing the crap out of this thing. Um, basically, seeing as all things exist simultaneously in space-time, and, um... You know, the present affects the past directly, the past affects the present directly, the past affects the future directly, and the future directs, uh, affects the present and the, and the past directly. All things exist simultaneously in nonlinear time and toss in the whole multidimensional self, multiverse factor, and the kind of the quantum law of everything that can happen does happen. And if you do a paradigm shift, you end up with some... Uh, some really, really neat possibilities. Um, let's say, for example, um, you know, let's let's say we were all fully awake and aware, and you know, weren't the ig ignorant, backward screwheads that we currently are, and we were able to shift our consciousness um, through the multiverse. Well, I think obviously the first question people would have on that is, okay, well, if these alternate versions of you are kind of you, but kind of not, they have their own consciousness and free will and so on and so forth, then how could you shift the, um, the dimensions, jump the timelines without them violating your free will or vice versa? 
Well, seeing as everything that can happen does, it can go down to a very specific scale. Um, um, you know, the square block fitting into the, the square hole, so to speak, but down to the micron. And, um, you know, you could, um, you could quite potentially, when you're going through these alternate scenarios, be jumping from timeline to timeline to timeline to timeline because you kind of be proceeding through diagonally intersecting these other these other timelines so <clears throat> um it's kind of like you could be jumping timelines um once a year once a month uh once a week once a day once an hour once a minute once a second once a millisecond once a nanosecond um you know and because you're doing that, and you would be making the exact same identical choice in, in those moments as your alternate self, I mean, down to um, the way you're, you're breathing and, you're, and your body movement and your exact thoughts and everything, it's, it's almost like a, a computer program parsing a text file configuration. Well, you know, those things are pretty specific, and... It only takes uh, one one character error to just just totally barf the whole thing and you know crash out the program with an error. But the universe, the multiverse, can can be that specific. So you can merge with um, other multi-dimensional selves without violating your free will, or you know you violating theirs because of the fact that what you are both doing within that moment, regardless of if that moment's a nanosecond or a year. Um, is so perfectly identical that both you and the other aspect of yourself chose to make that exact identical choice within that exact moment that merging is okay. You're fitting that square, you know, block into that perfectly down to the freaking nanomicron, you know, square hole, and just everything is a perfect fit. So... Um, imagine for, for a moment that, you know, you can do this and, you know, you're on some sort of a, a transport and your transport is in the, in the process of, um, getting blown straight to shit. So, you know, you're about to shuffle off the, the mortal coil, but of course the problem is, is you're not really ready to go. You want to accomplish some things in your life yet. Well... Your physical body in this particular reality and timeline, there's there's no way to avoid your ass just getting owned. So what do you do? You do some timeline jumping. And, you know, you could go backwards, forwards, whatever. Screw editing this in KDN Live. I don't feel like going that length for this right now. So, um, please, um... Everybody do yourself a favor. Look over there. Yeah, see that more info thing you can click on? Well, click on that for the link to part two. Thanks.